Hey guys, Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and today I'm going to be looking at the top 10 Angry Birds clones. That's right, one of the most frustrating games ever made has inspired a bunch of clones. Some of them are easier, most of them are harder, but this one, I think, is definitely better. So the number one parody of Flappy Birds is Floppy Birds. This has to be one of the best one-ups that I've seen in a long time. Floppy Birds has much more complicated gameplay. It involves all the elements of Mario Brothers since Flappy Birds is clearly based off of the tubes from Super Mario. So it actually brings in the elements from Mario directly into the game. And then one of the criticisms of Flappy Birds is that there are no consequences for all the deaths and you just keep going. But in Floppy Birds, if you die too many times, your bird actually starts to bleed, and then it'll die. And then you come back as a ghost and keep playing, right? Way more complicated gameplay, way more engaging, and it's way more difficult, if that's even possible. So the only downside to this game is that it's not compatible with all versions of Android. I had to go back onto the Huawei P6, which is running Android 4.2. So up next we have Flappy Wings. It is very iterative and it looks very much like the original Flappy Birds. The gameplay is identical as you would expect. Uh, the tubes are all pretty much the same. The bird looks a little bit different and while well, his beak does open and, uh, yep, he does poop. So it's a little, just a little more fun, a little more interesting with the same level of difficulty as the original Flappy Birds. Next we have a floppy crocodile because, well, birds aren't the only ones that like to fly between tubes. So the reason I like this one is the graphics are just a little more upgraded from the 8-bit and it's a little more cutesy coming into Valentine's Day because this crocodile is basically after love. So up next we're going to look at Flappy Whale. This game's interesting because it, it's underwater, clearly. So the same nose dives that happen in Flappy Birds aren't going to happen in Flappy Whale. It's a little bit more of a cruiser, and it's just as difficult. And the thing is, is that there are quite a few ads integrated into this. Like most of the Flappy Birds clones, advertising is something that is heavily pervasive. If you're looking for an easier version of Flappy Birds, I would try Flappy Tappy. On my very first try, I went all the way to 15. Now it does seem to be a little more forgiving with its margins of error as you go between the pipes. Paper Planet is another landscape side scroller where the bird has been replaced by an airplane. But because this is an airplane versus a bird, it seems to take nose dives quite sharply. So now if you have a MOGA, the reason I've included Flappy Crow is that this is for you. This has MOGA support. So now the next two does have to do 100% with potty humor. So this is Flappy Pants. Instead of a bird, it is pants. Pants in England are underwear. Uh, the reason I like this one is that when you kind of press on the screen longer, the pants fly up in the air. So the tapping is just a little bit different than Flappy Birds. Flappy Turd is clearly just hilarious. Same tappy gameplay fun as all the rest. I've included Happy Cupido just because, well, Valentine's Day is around the corner. So if you're looking to kind of give a love gesture of, well, how much you love Flappy Birds, maybe you want to play Flappy Cupido instead. Now if you've had it with Flappy Birds, why don't you play Kill That Bird, where you get to kill the Flappy Bird. Very satisfying if you've been losing at Flappy Birds. If you have a clone that beats these, let me know in the comments. Also, what's your high score? I'm at 16, which I know is pretty embarrassing. I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks. Yeah.